Blakely's Trapping Supplies offers a full line of trapping supplies to keep your trap line going. We are proud to offer the first of its kind subscription boxes for trappers. Each box is filled with a variety of trapping supplies, from traps and baits to tools and knives. Visit us at blakelystrappingsupplies.com to see what all the excitement is about. All right, guys, so I'm, I'm going to skin my fox that I caught yesterday. Uh, we're going to get it skinned. Uh, I'll, to start off, I always use latex gloves or vinyl gloves or whatever. Uh, I went to put gloves on, and I only had one glove left, so I'm not going to be able to wear those today. And so some of the tools that you're going to need is just a knife, whatever knife you prefer to use. This is the one I like to use. Uh, cheap sharpener. I just got this one at Walmart. I think it was like two dollars. Tail stripper. This comes in real handy. And a steel. I use a steel or you can use just any kind of metal bar that you have. I'll show you guys how we use that later. But I start all of my animals on the tailgate. It just seems easier to me. But uh, basically what I'm going to do. Is take your knife. And you want to see where you want your legs to be. And you're going to cut all the way around it. Gonna go to both sides. So now we got our legs cut. Now we're gonna cut right here with the hair meets. You got your light colored hair and your dark colored hair. We're gonna try to follow right between that all the way down to the vent. Go to the other side. This is what they call the money cut. And we'll get that done. And fox have really thin skin. So you kind of got to be more careful with them than you would some of your other ones. But now we're going to hang them. So I'm going to get the camera moved over and show you guys that. Alright, so now that we got our fox hung up here. Uh, what I'm going to start is we're just going to start skinning the legs. Like I said, fox have really thin skin, so you can pull them, but you got to be real easy not to rip the fur. So I'm going to get the legs started. And I'll just pull this one down. Like that. We'll just pull it down. We'll go to the other leg. We're gonna get it started. Sorry for the dog that's barking in the background. Trying to get this at a good angle, you guys can kind of see. Come around here. So basically, I'm just going around the leg right here. And I'm going to start. I'm going to start skinning the end of it. So I can get a good grip on it before I start pulling. There we go. Now that we got it started, you can just grab it and pull it down. There we go, we got both legs skinned now. Now the tail, what I like to do is I'll take my knife, I'll go to the point of the vent here. And I'm going to cut it upwards to meet my cut that I have going down the leg. I'm going to do that on both sides, go to the very top of the vent and cut upwards to match my cut on my leg and we're just going to slowly work the fur down get this hair out of my way I'm going to pull it I'm going to raise it some I'm going to pull it to 
box is real easy to pull. And then again, you want to be careful not to just rip to hide. So, on the base of the tail, I'm just right here at the tail where the tail meets the vent. I'm just going to cut it straight across. I'm going to go down to the front side here. We're going to kind of pull it a little bit. It's a little too high. So, on this part, what I do is I just go right behind the legs here. Take my knife. I'm going to cut straight across. So now that fur is cut straight across. Now we can pull it down. There we go. Now the, uh, I'm going to save the testicles for my glands. There's the other one. Save those. Now we're going to raise it. So we get here to the tail. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my fingers. I'm going to kind of stick my fingers up underneath the tail. I'm just going to work the hide from the back. Do the same thing on this side. Just work the hide from the back. I said fox is really easy to pull. But you want to be careful not to tear the hide. Now we're gonna take a knife and cut. Um, I would call it the membrane or whatever it is around the tail. And then I'm gonna split the tail about the third. I'm gonna go about third way down the tail. I'm gonna cut it up and then I'm gonna fold the tail down and just slowly work it. With the knife, keep cutting around, cutting around. And split it just a little bit more. There we go. And we'll just keep working it down a little bit more. There we go. Now we're going to take our tail stripper. I'm just going to take this first hole, the bigger hole. And I'm going to close it around the skin of the tail, the bone. I'm going to put the, hold the tail stripper like this with the tail in between my hands, my middle fingers. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold this steel, but I'm going to pull up on the carcass. And it should just come right off. There we go. So now we got the tail off. Now this, we're just going to slowly work it down with our hands. We have some fat here we need to cut. So right now we can continue to work it down with our hands. Anytime you see if it's kind of holding real tight, you want to cut it because if you pull too hard you could tear the hide or you could rip the belly open and then you have like guts and stuff everywhere. Raise it a little bit more. I'm just going to pull it. Pull down. Just keep working it. I'm going to pull these legs down. Now I always take my hands and put it on the elbows of the front legs and the head and I'll push them together. That way it helps get the legs out of the way a little bit more. And we'll just continue to pull. Pull, pull, pull. Say so you can pull it easy, but don't pull super hard. That's when you're gonna end up ripping the fur. If it starts getting hard, I just take my fingers and I go right up against the carcass and pull down like this. You never want to feel like you got a rush because that's when you're gonna end up tearing stuff, messing stuff up. 
keep working at it. Make sure to keep rolling your hide all the way down. Keeps tension on it. Keep pulling, pulling. And the clocks are real easy to pull. You just you gotta be careful. Keep the tension. I need my knife here. Right there, right there. You gotta be careful not to cut the hide because then again, it is very thin. And if you just tap it with your knife, you're gonna cut it through and you're gonna have holes. I'm gonna try to keep from having holes. Cut, cut. Keep working. I'm gonna try to get it past the like the armpit, whatever you want to call it. Once we get it there, then we can use the steel. So basically now you're going to take your steel or your metal bar or whatever. You're going to stick it inside the arm. You're going to push it through right there. Then you can just pull it straight down. Do the same thing to the other side. Stick it about the armpit. And it'll come out the back side. Just pull. There you go. I'm going to swing back. Then we're going to take our arm. We're going to pick our arm up out of it. Knife down. Grab both arms and do it. So there we go. Now we're going to cut the hide off. And one leg out. Two legs out, and I'm gonna hold the legs. I'm gonna cut by the neck. You gotta be careful not to hit any of the main veins or arteries that go down the neck. Just gonna work it. Just keep working downwards. If you guys can see, there's a main vein right there and one right there. You want to be real careful you don't cut those or you're going to end up getting a, having a big mess. We don't want that because then we got to wash the fur. It'll be real messy. Cut. Just slowly go around. Keep working it down. Be careful with the arteries and veins. Having a little bit of a problem on this one, getting past, getting down to his ears.
Going down. So fox have pretty big ears. A lot bigger than like you say a coyote or something like that. Then we can pull it. And we're getting down to his ears. We cut the ear there. Cut the ear there. Keep working down. Watch them arteries up under the neck. We can take our finger and stick it in the ears, what we always do. It makes a great way to get leverage. Pull down. He's got a little bit of, a little more head damage than normal. Now we're at the eye. I'm going to cut real deep at the eye. Cut the cheeks. I missed that one with that eye up, but it's all right. Keep working it down. And work it down to his nose. When we get there, we'll be able to just cut it off. Cut the bottom lip off because we don't really need it. And we can turn the fox back around so we can see him. Get his head popped out here. There's an ear. There we go. There's our fox. You see him? Real pretty. Got a lot of black and gray and red. I really like the color of this one. Got a white neck. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to keep this one. Have it tan. Keep it for myself. But uh, that's how I skin my fox. So I'm not the, not the quickest one out there or anything. but And then I'll cut some glands off of it. Uh, it's basically if you watch my my video of skinning the coyote, it's gonna be the same way, same glands. You know, I'll keep some of the pads and the testicles. They got the same glands in the neck, some of the armpits, back of the legs, and then we'll cut the uh, vent out. But uh, it's the same. If you're interested in that, you can go watch my coyote video where I skin my coyote and I cut the glands out. So go ahead and watch that. Again, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope I was able to help somebody out in their process of their trap line. Uh, thanks for watching and hope you guys have a great rest of your trapping season.